and once again welcome to Let's Explore. My name is Steve. Right then, a bit of a special show for you today. Oh, it's a show again, Dave. Show. We're having another show because as you can see, we're not in Leicestershire, we're in the beautiful Monsaldale in the Derbyshire Peak District. And I'm joined by two good friends of mine today, delighted Dave and Rob Palmer. And unfortunately, our other good buddy, Indy Andy Jones, he can't be here today. He's, he's a busy, he's a busy chap today, he is, but um, tell you what absolutely look at that world class it's not even six o'clock in the morning yet i've been up since ten past three but well worth it because we're about the only people here anyway we're gonna have a right good nosy today come on Alrighty then, so courtesy once again of Google Earth, we can look at today's exploration from high above. And uh, as you can see there in that intro that I just did, I looked like I was half asleep. I sounded tired, didn't I? But, you know, forgive me, it was very early in the morning. And I promise you, I do, uh, I perk up much more than that throughout this video, as you're going to see, because uh, we thoroughly enjoyed this one today me, Dave and Rob. It was absolutely amazing and uh, it's such a shame Indy Andy Jones couldn't come along because he would have loved what we uh, seen today. But uh, what a beautiful part of the world this is. And as you can see there, we did indeed explore that area within that flashing red circle there between Buxton and Bakewell in the beautiful Derbyshire Peak District and Monsaldale is an absolutely amazing place and I absolutely 100 million percent recommend if you're going to go there and you can stomach getting up at the time I did, just gone 3am in the morning uh, and get there for around about 5 o'clock, 5am, it's well worth it, trust me. And courtesy of the National Library of Scotland, what you're now looking at is an Ordnance Survey map dated 1883. And this is our first port of call today because as you can see there in the centre of the screen on the map, it does indeed say tunnel. That is the Headstone Tunnel and it's not the only tunnel in this area, there are others close by, but uh, this is the only one that I'm going to be showing you today. This is the longest one at 533 yards. But what's more spectacular for me about this tunnel isn't actually the tunnel itself, it's its eastern approach because the had to blast an enormous amount of limestone away before they could even build this tunnel at its eastern portal. It's absolutely spectacular as you're going to see. And also we had a look at to the left of this tunnel spanning the River Wye, the Headstone Viaduct as well. Right, so here we are then, the eastern portal of the famous Headstone Tunnel. Now I think I said earlier it was 523 yards long. I was 10 yards out because it's 533. I think it's the longest of the tunnels up here. This is the only one that I'm going to film today. We don't need to film all of them. Now, there's a few, few more two or three miles down the line. But I wanted to come here because, like I say, the approach to this portal is absolutely spectacular. It's, it's incredible. You know, the limestone, I mean, just to, before they even built the tunnel, they had to blast the way through this. It's absolutely incredible. I'm going to film it for you in a minute. But, I mean, as you can see here... They had to make it structurally sound as well. You've got these stone and blue engineering brick pillars here. But, you know, it just shows you the work that the navvies used to have to endure. You know, blasting through this hillside here to get a railway in this tunnel. It's absolutely beyond belief. And, you know, you're in the middle of nowhere up here. And can you imagine if they were building this in the winter, the conditions that have been working in up here? I mean, it's a beautiful morning. It's not even 6am yet, I don't think. Not so bad this time of the year, but... Incredible. You'd have needed a few bacon sandwiches, wouldn't you, Dave? Oh, definitely. Up here. Or Melbourne Cobbs. <laughs> yeah, or Melbourne. <laughs> Went and got none of them today. Dave's yeah. disappointed. Disappointed, Dave. I brought the Melbourne Cobb. <laughs> yeah, let me show you this spectacular wonder of the great railway age. This is incredible, the work that's gone into this. I mean, just imagine, so before you even start building your tunnel, you've got to carve this out. You know, absolutely incredible. And there were just, there were incredible people, the people that not only designed these railways, but, you know, built them as well. I mean, I've got a bit of a crap job on at work tomorrow, but that is nothing. That is child's play. Believe me, it's not even child's play. I don't know what comes before that. 
But that is child's play um, compared to this. This is astronomical, what they had to do here. You know, just absolutely incredible. Anyway, we've got the eastern portal of the Headstone Tunnel here. So I best get in there and have a nosy around because you'll be telling me off, won't you? But yeah, absolutely stunning. And what an absolutely beautiful day. So the great thing about coming up here is, of course, what we're walking on is the Monsal Trail. And, you know, it's delightful in here. You know, they've even, you know, put lighting up. It's absolutely fantastic. But what I love about this tunnel is that it's, uh, through most parts of it, it's actually built up to a certain level uh, in this beautiful stonework here. And then it goes to blue engineering brickwork. But if you look up there, you got like some coping stones here, look. So I imagine that they built up to that level originally, and then the uh, joiners or carpenters came along uh, with their framework so the bricklayers could build the arch, unless they did start the framework at this level. But as you can see here, this blue engineering brickwork does start curving around about where I'm pointing there, so I'm not really sure. But um, what you've got here is 533 yards of beauty, because we do, we do love out like this, don't we? And as you can see, this has got a bend in it, this tunnel. It bends out to the right. It's not poker straight, but we don't care. It's a fantastic structure. And of course, as per usual, we can't see that one very well. Let me get into the light. You've got a refuge here. Refuge is each side of the line. Just look how the sun is starting to shine through there. Spectacular. We've got a lot to see today. Been looking forward to making this video for a long time. Alrighty then, so because we've got an awful lot to get through in this video today, I'm not going to do too much banging on about the Headstone Tunnel, to be honest with you. But what I am going to do, I'm going to show you some amazing photographs that my buddy Dave Cap took, starting with this one at the Eastern Portal. Hope you enjoy these photos. They're absolutely spot on as per usual. So of course we've got this western portal there and if you've never been up here before if you turn round and look west oh the sun's shining on it there's indeed a beautiful viaduct there now this viaduct that's at near headstone tunnel it's not the longest in the world and it's not the biggest but it's one of the most spectacular in terms of its location now i think it's around about 70 foot high this is as you're going to see in a minute, the view on either side is spectacular. I will take you underneath it as well. But it's, what a beautiful morning. It makes you feel glad to be alive, doesn't it? It does me anyway. Just look at these views either side of here. As far as railway viaducts go, you know, the views here, I mean, this, like I say, this isn't the longest in the world. But, I mean, just look at this. You've got the River Y down there. I mean, that is Monsaldale there that I'm pointing into. Just up there on the top of that ridge, there used to be a settlement up there. That is known as Finn Cop. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Stone Age or Iron Age Finn Cop. I think there's a couple of earth earthworks up there. But absolutely stunning. Can you imagine being up here building this? Now, you know, this viaduct, I will show you the bottom of it shortly. This was built, now this railway line I think opened in 1863. So this was built, I imagine, in the late 1870s or the early 1860s. Just look at this. I mean, wouldn't you just love to live there? I know I would. Absolutely stunning. But yeah, I think this is around about 70 or 80 feet high. And I'll show you a photo of it during its construction in a minute because that is world class in itself. 
Okay, so what you're looking at here is an absolutely magnificent photograph of Headstone Viaduct during its construction in the early 1860s. And what an amazing photograph it is as well. And uh, you can see there quite clearly the fantastic framework that the joiners put together to enable the bricklayers to build those amazing arches. And if you look very carefully, you will actually see men on top of there building it. But what an absolutely incredible photograph and uh, a great reminder of how these structures were built. And I'll tell you what, I bet those blokes weren't wearing hard hats. I'll guarantee you they weren't. <laughs> but what a brilliant photo all the same. Right, so we're now standing down in the actual Monsal Dale itself pretty much. We've got the beautiful headstone viaduct just here. I'll show you around it shortly, but you know, just listen to it. The birds are singing. It's absolutely stunning down here. And I think I said up there, you know, if you're going to come to a place like this, try and get here as early as possible. That's the best thing to do, isn't it, Dave? Definitely. Early as possible. Because just look at it. Nature is alive. You know, the flora and fauna and all that. Some beautiful wildflowers over there. But uh, I'll show you around this fantastic structure of the railway age. But yeah, you know, not the biggest viaduct in the world, but in terms of its location, it's one of the most stunning, I'll tell you that much. to that then absolutely spectacular what you're looking at here is the river Y. now a few hundred yards away you've got that spectacular viaduct but you know if you're going to come to monsoon dale you cannot come here and not look at that but also as dave's just pointed out i forgot all about this <laughs> so this beautiful waterfall here and then You've got two beautiful tunnels there. Now there must have been some sort of sluice gate or something going on there. Um, now I ain't brought me wellies, but I have brought me flip-flops. Now I know what Dave's thinking I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna go in there. There's no way I'm coming up here and not going in that beautiful structure. But what's quite interesting, come down here look. So a very interesting valve here. Now I didn't, uh, I didn't see this last time I come down here. I was that in awe with that, with that waterfall there. But what I think we'll do, I'm going to get my flip flops on, because like I say, I ain't brought me wellies. And I'll take us for a little nosy in there. So, and I've brought a towel today, I'm well prepared. Oh look at that, bless him. The torch, the famous torch. <laughs> right, I'm going to get my flip-flops on. Right, then here we go. So it's going to be 25 degrees today. And I'm walking about with flip-flops on. And yes, the water is cold. It's not too bad. But there's no way that we're not going in there. Right. So this is really interesting here. And it's amazing because you've got... I mean, just look at this. Oops, not much what I'm doing here. Ain't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Wow. Right, I've got sidetracked there. We've got a beautiful waterfall. Honestly, this is this is a stunning place this. But yeah. What do you reckon to this then? Not very long, because the, the river is just the other side, so I think there's a sluice gate here. I don't think there's ever been a mill here. We'll have a little nosy inside anyway. Go in this one first. Right, I'll switch the camera around and get the torch on. <laughs> I'm a dafty, and I? We love it. Right then, so what we've got in here? No great big bloody pike in here, I hope. <laughs> I've no toes left. Right, 
I've got to watch what I'm doing because they're right. I can't go all the way in because I'm going to be up to my knees in silk. But yeah, just look at that. So you've indeed got a sluice gate there, look. Absolutely love seeing them. I hope no one uh, switches the button and makes that go up because I'm going to get bloody wet. Yeah, absolutely fascinating. Stunning that. And just look here, look. So again, you've got this stonework and then it goes to engineering brickwork at the top. Fantastic. Right, let's have a look in the other side. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> right, there's the pros look. Look at them. Absolutely amazing. Right. So, yeah. So, again, the same in here. But, yeah. Fascinating. Again, stonework there. Then it looks like red engineering brickwork. Yeah, it is. Fantastic. Right. Oh, clean my feet. What a stunning place, Dave. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I can't get enough of this waterfall. Right, so I knew that if I went in there, Dave would have to go in. I knew it. And he just said, can I borrow your flip-flop, Steve? <laughs> so bless him. He's only, I don't know what size feet he's got. The smaller than mine, he's walking about over there on his size 12 flip-flops on. But, I mean, look, I mean, just look at it. I mean, it's just spectacular. I just said to Rob, you know, I've been here multiple times before, and every time I come here again, it's like the first time again. He absolutely loves it, look. <laughs> right then, so I've just been showing you that fantastic, that amazing waterfall back there. But um, Dave, being the man he is, delighted Dave, he just said, oh, let's just walk off the main path. So we'll just come down here to the bank of the River Wye. I've got, I've got to flip my camera around, just look at this, because we're actually on his way to look at a mill that's uh, right next to the A6, about a mile away over there. Just look at this, let me flip the camera around. I've actually got the beautiful River Wye here, and Dave's just said, look at this, looks like there's, there used to be some sort of sluice gate or something going on here. So you've clearly got workings here, look. Just look at this. What you're going to see in a minute, I think is amazing. Now, bearing in mind, we're on his way to look at a mill. So just look at this here. I can't believe what we've just stumbled across. Because what we've got... Look at that. We've got an half-buried wheel for a mill. Now, I'm going to have to look on the old maps again when I get home, because I can't remember seeing a mill... Here, now we're still in Monsaldale. So, this is absolutely amazing. We've got to thank Delighted Dave as well. <laughs> wow, look at this, yeah. We need to Just look at this. Yeah, we're gonna have to knock these stinging nettles about a little bit, I think, so you can get a better view of it. And us get a better view, but just look at that. This is an amazing find. Have we got some more? Wow, yeah, oh, yeah. So there was a mill here. So, now I was looking on the uh, 1885 map earlier, well, last night. Oh, I so wish we had like a stick or something to knock all this down. I'll have to find something in a minute. But just look at that. You can't quite see it, the stone. So, yeah, there was indeed a mill here. This is absolutely amazing. I can't tell you how much I love coming across things just buried like that. You know, unexpected things as well. Did not expect this. This is amazing. Right at the side of the beautiful... River Y. And why is it called the River Y? I don't know why. <laughs> why not? Look at that, incredible. Right, so as you can see, we've just, we've just cleared this site as best as we can with these stingers, as you can see. Absolutely grand, but just look at this. This is absolutely incredible. And we came down here, Dave said, oh, let's just have a look down there. And then we found all this lot buried in the stinging nettles. And don't my legs know about the stinging nettles right now? 
This is absolutely amazing. What a find. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yet another water wheel. It, incredible. To, to have you know this wheel here, they don't usually leave these, do they? No. And just look at these workings here, God almighty. But here is where the building once resided. And of course, we've had, we've had to get rid of all these stingers as you've seen in that footage. Rob, he had the, he had the best stick for it, to be fair. <laughs> about whipped me to death at one point anyway enough of that anyway but yeah just look, look at this this is where your building once resided in here absolutely world class this is and just look at this here now i know if my good buddy indy andy jones is watching look at that oh we've got right in let's just look, look at this first just look at that that's amazing you've got some sort of valve here as well amazing some old workings down here, stonework. And what a location to be having an adventure like this in today. Look at that. I can't quite, I can't quite read it because I'm, I'm recording it, but yeah, I'll just hold it there a second, then I can see if I can decipher it later, but I'm out, Dave. You, <laughs> my arms are stung up now. <laughs> We're so enthusiastic, aren't we, mate? But what's around here? I took this video, if I ain't careful, it's gonna be about a bloody hour long. Keep finding all this stuff. <laughs> right, so what an amazing thing to come across in Monsell Dale. Did not expect that. I've walked on that path up there many times, but something told Dave to come down here, and I'm glad that something did now. But we're gonna run his way, unless we get sidetracked. <laughs> we're on his way to look at another mill that sits next to the A6. What I'll do, when I get home, before I edit this video, I'll have a look on the maps to see if I can see that. Because that is amazing, that's been left there in situ, that wheel. And of course, the actual building itself was here. Yeah, we have done a good job of clearing that. <laughs> Rob, he was really going for it. He was like taking it, someone's upset him, he was taking, he was taking it out on it, weren't he? <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, for God. the lads, he went on holiday with. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Anyway, before we get any sidetracked any further, let's get on with it, come on. Right then, so after all the excitement of finding that buried water wheel at that beautiful mill back there, well, say back there, it's about a mile and a half, two miles away, isn't it, Dave, where we've just been? Isn't it just? So over there, you've got the A6 road. That takes you down to Ashford in the water. But this, this is what we was on his way to see before we got distracted with that mill we've just found. So, of course, you've got the river, the river Y here. And then, look at this beauty. What do you reckon to that then? And we've got a water wheel intact. What an amazing, unbelievable day, Dave. I can't get over it. Just look at that. Now I don't, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we can't get in there. But it don't matter. I mean, the thing I really want to see is that wheel. I've got a fascination with these mill wheels. I really have. Anyway, I'll show you around it. You know the deal by now. Let's go and have a nose there. So what do you make of this beauty then? And I mean the mill, not Rob. <laughs> Although he's got beautiful hair, I'll give him that. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Daft and I. But just look at this. Just look at that stonework around the, these old windows here that have been boarded up. But, you know, look at that. We've got a water wheel and, I mean, all ladies and gentlemen, and I know what you're thinking, here he goes again. But just look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you... I absolutely love these structures and I've, I've told you before that I, can, oh, I haven't got the words to actually describe what I think about coming across stuff like this but this is beautiful. Now this mill on the 1883 map is a sawmill but I'm led to believe, I found a bit of information on the internet the other day about this, if I can find it again I'll put the link in the description but it did say that they actually ground um, bone here as well. You know, for um, bone china production, which I thought was very, very interesting. But just look at this. This place is amazing. Oh, D Dave, what? Oh my God, there's a third wheel. <laughs> We're getting it. I'm trying to show him these fancy windows. Look at them. Oh, we don't care about the windows. Let's go and see what Dave's on about. Right, and look at this. We've got another water wheel here. This place, ladies and gentlemen, is absolutely incredible. 
Um, the, the industrial heritage. Dave, we've got a tunnel. We have, yeah, well, never mind that one. We've got one here and all. <laughs> wow, look at that. Where the water would have left and gone into the River Wye over there. This is absolutely amazing. What a beautiful, do you know what? We've seen a lot already, haven't we? I've got to try and keep this video as short-ish as possible. Just look at that. If I, do you know what? I've brought my flip-flops. I can't, I ain't going down there. I'm tempted, but the water looks a bit rancid there. If I got my wellies on, I would go down, so it is a shame I didn't bring them. So down here, you've got, you call that a leak, don't you? Or the mill race. So the water was, they diverted it from the, the river Y, just over there. They've channeled it down here. It's this lovely channel. And then it's feeding the water wheel here. Now, I mean, I'm blown away by stuff like this, as you know. It doesn't take me much to get carried away usually, but just the setting alone, what we're in today, is incredible. But, you know, just look at this. This is a spectacular place. All this history, you know, and it, it took me about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes to get here. But just look at this. Beautiful. Oh wow, so gifts and giving spring to mind here. Just look at this. I was just showing you this wheel in particular, not long back. But I didn't see this at the time and I don't think Dave's seen it yet. So here's your channel here, here's your mill race. Your water was rushing down here once, gushing down. Just look at this bad boy here. Look at that sluice gate there. So you've got the wheel behind here. So of course at the end of the working day, when you've done your milling, for either your bone, for your bone china, or your saw milling. You close this off so the water therefore couldn't get down here. Because obviously that'd be spinning all night, your gaffer won't be very happy, would he? But just look at that. Dave! Dave! Come here! <laughs> he ain't seen this yet. He's as bad as me. Here's Rob, I knew, I knew Rob would come over. He loves a bit of it, armed with his camera. You miss this? <laughs> right, so again, you got your mill race here. That mill I've just been showing you there, what we're getting excited with, with the sluice gate, that's that building there. But then you've got a derelict mill here, and I know what you can see. I don't look at it, because it's that exciting. <laughs> you got this here, look. So your water went through there, and just the other side of that, that wall, because that is a derelict mill there, that would have fed the water wheel. We'll go over there in a second. Do you know what? I could have just made a video here today. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this video. I think I'm just going to have to... I might have to split it up into three. I don't know. It's a bit soggy here. But just look at this. So, I'm not going to crawl through there. I don't need to. Look at all these flies, all these gnats. See a bit of metal work there. But, but Dave, I've not been through there yet. Dave has just informed me that there's all the metal working. So what we need to do now is get myself and you have a tip there. Right, oh, my legs are stung up, but it's, it's really warm. I've just got stung again then. Let's get over there and show you these workings. Right, so let's have a look at this other mill. And this one is pretty much directly next to the River Y, as you can see. Wow, this is interesting. Yeah, got a lot of metal work in here. I'm gonna, I'll turn the camera around. You don't wanna see me, not for this bit, definitely not. Although I absolutely love the sun, it's a beautiful day. It's shining in the wrong place currently because you're going to get glare. Just look at all this. So again, yeah, the light's not too bad now. Again, beautiful, well intact water wheel. I'm, I'm absolutely amazed that this is all still here. Got this interesting tripod structure above it. I'm not sure what that used to do, if I'm honest with you. I'm not going to pretend like I, I know everything that I'm looking at, to be honest with you. But, um, so yeah, there's, here's the other side of the tunnel that fed this wheel that I've just been showing you. Bit of interesting metal work down there. But this is extraordinary. This is a very, very old building. I mean, just look at that. Absolutely, uh, absolutely stunning this is. Starting to corrode a bit here, but you, you know, you'd expect that, wouldn't you? You know, this you know, metal, it does rust and, and rot. Just look at that. Stunning technology this was, you know, clean, efficient energy, done the right way. And then the water left and joined the magnificent River Wye here, which I think is the fourth longest river in the country. 
I think, but don't quote me on it. Right, so just before I end today's video, what I need to point out with this mill that I didn't before, I've told you that it, that it was a sawmill. Now these concrete plimps here, I spotted these when we first turned up, but I didn't take a lot of notice because I was excited about that there, that wheel that Dave is obsessed with and I can't fault him, it's fantastic. But I do know that one of these mills, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this one, was a sawmill. Now Rob pointed it out 10 minutes ago because you've got, you've got a gear up here, look. And there's a rod there that goes to the top of that concrete plinth and carries on down there. So I think, and do you know what, Indy Andy Jones, I worked it out for myself for a change. <laughs> he normally tells me all this stuff. But I think here somewhere, because you've got a hard stand in here, there would have been some workings here, I think, for a saw. That's what I think. And the saw was being powered by that rod there on top of that wheel. And it was here somewhere in this area. But what's quite interesting here, this wheel in particular, the actual outfall, the outflow for the water, isn't there going out to the River Y over there. The actual outfall is on this side. It's just down there, the tunnel. I'm very tempted to go down there, but I don't think I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, I think you can just make that out, just about. What's interesting, one of the first things that I seen when I turned up here was this fencing. And automatically, when something's fenced off, in a very interesting place like this mill. That really does get me interested because I'm thinking what's down there then. Now the continuation of that tunnel passes down here. Now I'm not sure why this gap is here. Just zoom in a bit, can you see much? Yeah, you can just about see the tunnel. Sorry, it's, it's focusing on my finger. Well, never mind. scrub that, but that is definitely the, definitely the continuation of the tunnel from over there. And it finds its way over there and disperses into the River Y. I've just gone a little walk up there. I couldn't find it. It might well be there. Dave wants me to actually get in this tunnel down here, but I think I'm going to leave that one for today. But absolutely fascinating explore this. So, so enjoyed this today. It's been absolutely amazing. Well, unfortunately, that concludes today's video. And what a fantastic day it's been. Dave's trying to get the water wheel turning, look. Because he's here, man. <laughs> but what, what a stunning day. It's been absolutely beautiful. The weather's been on side. You know, we found that mill just abandoned by the River Wye, actually in Monseldale. Absolutely stunning. And this place, this was the gift that just kept giving, weren't it? I just can't believe it. On a public right of way as well. But I know you've enjoyed yourself, haven't you, Dave? The Robin the Lion to water mills. Three wheels. Yeah, that, absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Do you know what? He's going to start charging me at this rate. During the war. And our Rob joined the wall. Our Rob's enjoyed it and all, ain't you, oh, mate? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely definitely. fantastic. And if Indy Andy Jones, when he watches this, because I know he will, he'll be gutted he wasn't here. I know you couldn't be here today, buddy, because you've got other stuff going we're on. We're missing you, Andy. Yeah, we've missed you. But I tell you now, buddy, no for once, for <laughs> <laughs> he said that, not me. Yeah, <laughs> Delicatessen Dave. But yeah, <laughs> for once, I didn't need you to help me decipher something, because I'm pretty sure, Andy. I'm mean, supposed to be talking to my audience here, aren't I? But I'm pretty sure that is something to do with a, a saw. Somebody will know a lot about this and put me right. But yeah, it's a good buy from me. It's a good buy from Dave. Bye. And it's a good buy from Rob. And I'll see you all. I can't even talk. I'm in awe of this place. It's something special this is. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share. And we will be seeing you at the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Magnif! Look at that. Where's Dave going? Oh, yeah, don't leave that. <laughs> See you later.